Frank, after kind of the imbalance on the offensive glass, uh, you, you guys really cleaned up the turnovers in that fourth quarter. Uh, but what did you think the difference was down the stretch when you pulled away? Yeah, I mean, well, you said those two things. Um, you know, I mean, I don't think we did a good enough job on the glass all night, but, uh, you know, we were able to, you know, do, do well enough to get the W. And, you know, I think the turnover, from a turnover standpoint, we just slowed down a little bit. You know, I think, uh, you know, sometimes we get sped up. And we didn't move it side to side enough in the second and third quarter. Uh, I thought we did a better job of that late. Frank, Frank uh, Nas Reed had you know such a good first half against you guys, and it seemed like your your smaller lineups were struggling defensively against him. It, it, what, did you need to resist the urge to to counter and try to go big there? And what does that say about kind of where you guys are in this evolution toward this lineup? Uh, yes, I did have to re, to resist the urge. You know the glass. Uh, you know, was you know that was a concern. You know, if he's scoring in the, in the low post against you know Stanley's uh, toughness, you know we can live with that. You know, we felt like those were good situations for us defensively. The ball is not in Anthony Edwards' hands. You know, um, you know, but the glass was was not just Reed. It was uh, you know, and they've heard us when we played the first two games big. They killed us on the glass. You know, they just fly in from their perimeter. They're a great perimeter crashing team, and um, you know that was going to be an issue whether we were big or small. Frank, you talked about getting sped up. Obviously, with Russ, that's such a fine line. Um, how, how do you think he's handled that big picture? And then smaller picture tonight, um, is there really anything you can do when he's just having a night like tonight where he's just a little sloppy? Yeah, I think he's gotten better. Uh, I think we've seen that uh, you know, over the course of the last you know, three, four, five weeks. Um, had a tough night tonight. Um, you know, but he's improving, and we're evolving offensively. So you know, guys are in different spots, and you know, some of that – uh, is the is the pieces moving around him, not just him? Frank, I think Melo had a really good fourth quarter. Camelo Anthony, how have you seen him evolve as a six man guy off the bench since you guys have had him? Yeah, I mean he's done a great job for us all year, and uh, you know he's he's brought a great deal of ba <coughs> excuse me basketball integrity to our team. You know there's a, there's a care factor uh, with everything he's trying to do. He's he's really um, intentional about knowing what his defensive coverages are making sure guys are playing the right way offensively. And, um, you know, it's like that's what some of the assistant coaches were just talking about. His basketball integrity, you know, has been a real real positive for us this year. Frank, you guys played nine players tonight. Uh, three of them didn't begin the year with you. I know Trevor was on the roster but didn't, wasn't playing games. You had Stanley and you had Avery. Um, you know, uh, what does that say about the turnover that this team has experienced and considering – all three of those guys in particular can bring two-way support. Is, is that the direction you have to go in, just find guys who can bring it on both ends? Well, you know, obviously that's, that's the type of players we want to put around LeBron and AD, um, you know, guys that can do it on both sides of the ball. And, you know, the guys you just mentioned uh, are doing that. And, you know, when you evolve throughout the course of a season, you know, a lot of it is – uh, isn't just you know your your style of play, how you're playing. It's it's which guys can do what, you know. And when you when you put together a team with so many new faces like we had this year, uh, a lot of the early part of the season is figuring out what guys can and can't do, and whether we need uh, changes to personnel in those roles. And um, you know I think we've seen that some of late. Uh, Frank, two questions if you'll permit me. Um, first, Nas had 23 points the first three quarters, and then zero points in the last. What difference did LeBron make guarding Nas on a lot of those possessions? Oh, he's, you know, he's a difference maker. You know, he can do it all. Like, LeBron James can do it all. You know, so that guy's going, and you decide, decide to put him uh, defensively on their center, um, you know, to slow him down. And he's still executing the pick-and-roll coverage as well when Edwards is coming off and whatnot. Um, he had a terrific defensive fourth and, and, and really, you know, a, a defensive game. Um, you know, but that's LeBron James. You're able to do that with, with him. And, and then to follow up a little bit on Dave's question, you know, Avery Bradley doesn't have a guaranteed contract. You guys have a decision to make. Well, the front office, I guess, does. What, what do you think he's shown you guys thus far? Obviously, been a starter when he's been healthy. Uh, he's done a great job for us all year. You know, a difficult circumstance for him, uh, bouncing around early uh, in the season. And, um, you know, obviously he's he's a part of, uh, you know, what our culture has been the last couple of years. Um, you know, started with us two years ago. And, you know, really, 
you know, we just talked about a minute ago, you know, having two-way players. You know, he sets a great tone for us on the defensive side of the ball, and, you know, he's really brought a lot on the offensive side as well. Hey, Frank. Uh, just wondering, can you, on the Carmelo thing, can you just kind of define or elaborate what you mean by basketball integrity? Just uh, the care factor of, of making sure that we're doing things the right way. You know, everything. You know, how we're playing, uh, you know, defensively, um, you know, everybody being locked in, everybody understanding what, uh, you know, guys are doing, that the guys are doing what they're supposed to do and, um, and leading us, you know, when, when we're not. And, um, you know, and leading by example with uh, asking the right questions and, you know, trying to play the right way and recognizing when our group isn't playing the right way. You know, he's showing great leadership in that regard. Yeah, well, he can do it all offensively. You know, that's what we love about Malik. We can put the ball in his hands and he can make plays. He's, he's great at reading defense, um, you know, understanding that if they're going to stay with Bron, he can turn the corner if they're going to show. Um, you know, he knows how to deliver the ball. Um, he's great putting the ball on the floor. And, you know, when these other guys have it, he's, he's great uh, as a backside three-point shooter as well. So uh, really giving us a huge lift offensively. And, you know, and, and he's competing and, and doing everything he can uh, on the defensive side as well. Hey, Frank, you, you talked uh, earlier about uh, the rebounding issues and, and not putting in either Dwight or DJ just in terms of that size. Is part of the thought process just the idea of if we're going to commit to going small, we have to learn how to do this as a small team. We have to learn how to adapt to it as opposed to looking for, say, something like Dwight or DJ to bail you out, but then you don't develop the identity. Uh, that's a huge part of it. And honestly, that's we talked about that going in. You know, we know we had been hurt on the glass uh, by this team. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a challenge. I think we showed uh, 25 box out clips from the Portland game and the, the last Minnesota game before the game to, uh, to demonstrate, you know, that if we're going to play this style, that this is, this is an area we have to be better. Uh, we weren't much better. <laughs> um, but it is about, you know, if we're going to explore this style of play, we have to learn how to deal with this.